Hello folks, this is Rajiv Surya and uh, this is a video about uh, different resources uh, like blogs, books and uh, different 3D websites which is useful to start designing for AR scenarios and um, I'm really excited because a lot of people have asked me on LinkedIn about uh, how the different resources, books to read to start off to understand about this um, relatively new area in user experience design. So all UX designers can actually upskill themselves using these kind of resources. Always keeping it handy and uh, would be it would be a good start. There are some six books which I have lined up, <clears throat> which is very good from basic still technical levels of understanding about augmented reality and virtual reality as the technologies which can be used and how relevantly you can design as user experience designers. So without any late, let's start. So the books to refer over here is basically the first book I would like to recommend is Virtual and Augmented Reality for Dummies. Okay, it's a book by Paul Mealy, and uh, very nicely it has been written about uh, different uh, uh, cycles of um, uh, hype cycles of how technology different became mainstream like mobile phones, PCs, internet, and now virtual and augmented reality as a technology. So it is a very good book to actually start off with. Um, we'll be going in detail after all showing all these books in on the browser itself and all the links to the books will be available in the description as well as free uh, downloadable PDFs also will be in the link itself. So second book is about augmented reality. This is more to understand about the different use cases in businesses. So detailedly it has been written uh, about in different uh, domains like retail, uh, domains like sports, um, domains like other education sectors etc so you can have a look of this and the third book is uh, on audio book I wanted to keep the mix also but this audio book is very special because it has been recently launched uh, it's uh, last year itself by MIT press and uh, by Samuel Greengard and it's a very nice basic to detailed uh, audio book which you can finish off listening and it is uh, talks about a little bit about the history and the evolution of AR and VR specifically. Coming Defying Reality, it's a very nice storytelling book seeing some uh, different scene by David Ewald will be showing you in detail. Uh, then O'Reilly with uh, designers don't get missed with O'Reilly's publication books because there are lots of books on design and different design topics for user experience designers out there. So this is one which they have created for creating augmented and virtual realities. So it also talks about a lot of domains and use cases where you can actually scale this and use this with all the tools itself. And lastly, I want to also share with UX designers who are getting into AR and VR and want to develop for these kind of uh, use cases uh, develop applications. I think so AR kit and AR core are these two um, software development kits which Apple and Google uh, came out recently respectively for these two uh, software development kits and this is for iOS and uh, AR uh, game development. Uh, so you can have a look and see uh, if you're interested in development point of views and development areas for augmented reality and virtual reality. So let's get deep in little deep in the each video and see the timeline or the this thing so that you can understand the relevance of the book. It should not be too back to like 2000. And so this is the first book which I talked about is Virtual Reality for Dummies, where it has 2018, uh, not two years back, written. It's quite relevant and it's basic talks about different. Uh, uh, what is AR and VR and retail and consuming content and creating content over there specifically for uh, AR and VR. Then we have virtual and augmented reality like exploring their use cases in that specifically and uh, what you assessing the future of also VR and AR and predicting its uh, mainstream when it is going to come 2021 they have written in this book and uh, very nice piece of uh, content. Uh, and uh, written by Paul Mealy and uh, I would recommend you all to have a look into this. Augmented reality for the uh, power of AR and VR for business. So this is also you will get the free uh, downloadable PDF link in the description itself. 
uh, 2019 uh, printing is this and uh, i would like to elaborate over here the content so retail experiences they have shown something of how what is the possibilities of it. then again what is what is the impact over there then again coming to experience design then coming to tourism then coming to uh, education which is my favorite domain uh, as you have seen my previous uh, videos and content which i created on ar for education immersive designing and a lot of things related to business if you want to understand the logic about the use cases and the business and matching design to business in the initial phases of learning for ar vr i think this is a very good book which actually takes you deep in okay here comes the virtual reality which is there in audible which you can add it to your library and listen it on the go uh, very nicely detailed out uh, audio book by samuel greengard and in 2019 i think so is the latest coming out from mit i think so it's a very good research book and it's very relevant up for now uh, these couple of years during this pack so going to the fourth book is defining reality the inside story of virtual reality revolution so this is written by david ewald and uh, david ewald is actually uh, a contributing editor for post magazine and he has also written a book of dice men so you can check it out uh, his book but basically it talks about little contents about in a very storytelling way uh, what different uh areas where evolution of uh, virtual reality happened and the inside story of it coming to the fourth book the fifth book is creating augmented reality and virtual reality for uh, basically the theory and practice of spatial computing which you can get it over here and it also describes about art and design three parts technical development and different use cases so i think so the people interested some people are interested in art and design and the use cases of it some people are in the technical development of it so accordingly you can switch chapters and you can read relevant sections of each book if you want to read so this is the this is a book which deals with the technicalities and details of it more researched and well published okay so this is another technicalities if you want to develop your interest it's i think so ar core is something which google has come up with their software development team for ar developers to come up with ar cons applications for uh, ar compatible handheld phone devices so this is where you can learn about that ar core software development kit and you can quickly develop your ar concepts uh, as you can through this book so and finally this is ios ar dev game development book which is also there in the link so i'll provide you so you you all can go ahead so this is about the books so let's now get into more details about blogs different blogs to read so i have some 10 to 13 uh, listed blogs which i have read and i found it very valuable for my course to in the course where i was actually learning and growing as a designer for ar and vr experiences so the first blog is about augmented reality prototyping tools for head mounted displays then what is the future of ar in ux designing facebook for uh, mobile vr tips on designing for ar vr designing ar vr for websites two books must read before you start designing for ar vr augmented reality and brand experiences examples why ar should see growth that we are card where ar should augmented reality and virtual reality example videos by top companies top 10 ar applications in education field two publications on medium which you can follow and uh, get to know about them uh, and curated content for ar and vr is there which you can prefer uh, designing for ar and uh, uh, with adobe aero one of the concept which i have written and published by inborn experience publication so you can have a look so let's get into a deep about each box so this is the first block augmented reality prototyping tools for head mounted displays where i liked about different tools which he used to create a concept for ar for headsets but we get uh, bogged on and very panicky about different tools which we don't know about the 3d tools but here yes he has used different tools like sketch cinema 4d uh, sketchbox photoshop also 
but very simple fact that if you have a concept and still you can do it in a powerpoint also which he has done it very seamlessly uh, to demonstrate the ar concept for an ar headset uh, scenario which is a very good effort over here which i feel a lot of people can find out ways tools is not a um, factor to stop you to come up with the concepts which you want to demonstrate but uh, here is a possibility where you can actually do it so this one is a good second blog is about the future of ux is augmented reality the future of ux which uh, somewhere it gives you some examples about different uh, ar applications which are there how you can use that very seamlessly where in real estate uh, etc it's a good one this blog then again facebook designing facebook for mobile vr experience one of the case studies over here where facebook 360 was uh, an experience for samsung gear etc is done where you can actually socialize through it but here uh, what i liked about is that they have some set number of steps to follow uh, which they follow to come up with this 360 app about different you can call this some kind of a set guidelines or principles which they followed for the user experience for ar scenarios support supported and and one of the things which i liked about is the depth of hierarchy which you can play in the 3d space for ar and vr applications or experiences um this is something uh field of view which you know in the course of time when you read books you will get to understand that there is a field of view and there is some kind of a uh, distance which you can uh, should not exceed to uh, consume content for the users so design according to that area so i think so 8 meters to 1 2 meter, uh, meters is the margin or the what you can say is the bracket where you can actually explore content but you have the flexibility of depth Uh, which is uh, not conventionally you get on uh, 2D screens which you design. So this is one added benefit for uh, designing for immersive experiences. So check this out, and uh, it's a very good uh, blog which deals with the principles. And this is the designing AR and VR for websites. So here also there are some examples and etc. which you can study and go through. Augmented reality prototyping tools for head-mounted display. Yes, this has been done. and um, this is a blog where it talks about different uh, areas and uh, where different companies are actually uh, making leveraging this technology like uh, you can see home depot how they are using it you can see timberland how they are using their uh, experiences for customers in this lockdown of how to try out different things and then enter the store uh, or purchase it then again in the area of fashion we have sephora gatic passengers for guidance in the airport uh, then something establishing the they are partnered with shazam which is an audio visual recognition app uh, through which they can know about the products evolution and how the sustainability came into factor more informative uh, and experiential so this is also a good blog and here here this blog tells about uh my ar will come we will see the growth what vr will not and soon ar will come rather than vr it's a good view point you can have a look augmented reality and virtual reality so here there is a specific videos for ikea specific things like juventus vr app which they have a design for fans who can see the locker room fun uh, what is happening in vr and some football fanatics people can actually enter this and there are different companies who are actually leveraging this technology this is something to open your mind to getting into before designing for uh, such experiences then top 10 ar applications for education field very pretty much interesting can have a look these two have good publications ar vr journey which you can follow on medium which has very curated nice content on ar and vr and different tools which you can use to create this stuff inborn experience is also a good publication which you have different um, tools and boot camps which they have for knowing different tools okay. and this one blog which i have written on an ar concept of periodic table uh, a lot of people might know about it the viewers who are watching but still so how in detailly i have gone through and made these planning and planned it and made these con- made this one concept it's a detailed tutorial in a blog way but soon i'll be sharing in the second video about a detailed walk through of how this has been in whatever tools which have used and the planning which has gone ahead okay so stay tuned guys let's go into 3d sites 
so the 3d sites which i would like to refer for free download of 3d content and which you can use it in your ar concepts in adobe aero or wireframe tools whichever are uh, google poly free 3d and uh, mixamo so title of the 3d uh, tools so this is google poly uh, which has come up with simple poly uh, polygons uh, low poly 3d output uh, renders which you can use it in your um, uh, projects like example you can download a simple obj file from here which you can use it in your uh, so we, we, whenever you download it it will ask you different types of extensions obj file is extensively used for adobe aero as well as for wireframe so you can download it from here similarly free 3d is also a very great uh, website where you can also download according to the different extensions so what we need here is obj module so so you'll get it basic things to actually just see what and adobe people who are using adobe creative suite uh, have mixamo a tool uh, a website where you have all the characters uh, 3d characters which they have enlisted already which you can directly send to aero which you can see it over here right so, or you can download it in your preferred extension if you want to use it some other ai prototyping tool. but uh, so this is how you can add animations also to any character over here simply by adding any animation to that uh, model so it's pretty awesome you can use this for our ar concepts in adobe products adobe dimension adobe air okay hope this was helpful guys the next video will be coming up with a tutorial of uh, the first ar concept on the table uh, a detailed one hope you'll enjoy that and uh, explore that initially is to have fun and explore i think so in the course of time when you actually churn out your skills in exploration of concepts uh, then you will actually try to have impactful concepts in the course of time and you can start defining the guidelines of your designs also according to your projects so it's somewhere it's parallelly should run where you are actually learning or acquiring knowledge to, in the form of books or blogs secondly parallelly you should be working on some concepts which you like about ar concepts and thirdly you try to take feedback on your ar concepts and to uh, reiterate it or revamp enhance it much better so hope this helps thank you guys and uh, have a nice day stay safe